Today we're going to go ahead and brush hog the pasture. It's finally got to seed, so we're going to go ahead and jump on the Coyote NS6010. Show you how to do this. All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Like I said, we are going to be brush hogging the pasture. Um, it's still got a lot of thin spots in it, but it's finally got the seed on some of the some areas on the pasture there. So we want to brush hog this down and let it keep going and try to get more seed out there and get it to going up more. Um, we do have the Coyote NS6010. Um, once again, we're going to be utilizing that. We do have our, I think this is the first time we've actually brought um, some content on the brush hog that we bought about a year ago. So I apologize for that. We'll show you how this, this is a five foot brush hog. It worked really well on the 1025R, the John Deere 1025R. Um, it was, I think they recommend four foot uh, brush hogs for the John Deere 1025R because it's a 25 horsepower and just the lift capacity that the rear uh, three point hitch is able to do but it never had any problems with that five foot brush hog that is a mahindra it is what it is we got a great deal on it i'm not worried about the color or any of that stuff that's that's not the point it's getting implements that are going to get you the job done in the best uh cost effective way and give you good value so that's that's what we look for but this is a five foot brush hog um paired on this 60 horsepower tractor it's it's way too small but that's what we have and so we're going to utilize it. Uh, who knows, maybe someday we'll get a bigger uh, brush hog. Uh, maybe a, I don't know, who, who knows what size. Maybe we'll get bat wigs, I don't know. We don't have that much to brush hog, so we'll stay with this right now. But we're going to go ahead and jump on the tractor here, and we're going to get going. It's not going to be a very long video, but hey, it's a beautiful day out here. And want to get you some content. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get into it.
so we got all that cut down now here in the pasture we're out here um, as you can see back behind me on both sides cut it down real nice uh, the brush hog here did really well yeah it took a little bit longer than it could have if it was bigger obviously but it, it did the job so uh, tractor the coyote ns 6010 was a real comfortable ride uh, riding out through here no issues at all um, once again you want to make sure you get that pasture to seed that way once you cut it down it's going to distribute all that seed out amongst the ground and get it kind of growing real nice um, like i said obviously it's a little thin right now it's a brand new pasture but we will continue to go through this process until it is ready to roll so hey if you like the way we could lift this uh, brush hog up and down with just that top link uh, cylinder the hydraulic cylinder top link um, check out the next video we're going to have here um, we once again appreciate you coming back to the channel don't forget to like and subscribe until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors. See ya.